Hi guys, Chun Wei here from Property Link Brothers and today we're heading to this relatively new hidden gem project right here in District 19. And if you look over to my left, this is the Serangoon Gardens Lander and Cave, so we're within very close proximity. Now we have a one bedded apartment here, size at 452 square feet to show you today. So we think if you're an investor looking to keep your quantum below the $900,000 mark, or if you're a young couple looking for a pivot home, we think you should stay on and watch this video. Let's go. Hi there, so we're right now in this unit. Before I show you around the rest of the space, let's just chat a little bit more about this project. Garden Residences was jointly developed by Keppel Land and Wing Thai Asia. Keppel Land are a household name when it comes to property development and they are the guys behind our city's skyline with landmark developments such as Marina Bay Financial Centre, Ocean Financial Centre as well as One Raffles Key. Now on the residential front, Marina Bay Suites, Corals at Keppel Bay, The Luxury and The Glades are just some of the many projects under their belt. Now Wing Thai Asia on the other hand is a property developer Developer and lifestyle company that is reputed for quality as well as design. And their portfolio includes the Crest at Prince Charles, Essential Sky, Helios Residences, and Forest Residences. Now, in terms of lease, this project is 99 years leasehold in status starting from 2017. So, in terms of lease balance, we have a very healthy lease balance of 94 years remaining. And this project was completed just last year in 2021. And there are a total of 613 units here that comprises of one to five bidders. So, their unit sizes range from 452 square feet all the way to 1,981 square feet. Now the units are distributed across five different blocks that are 15 stories tall and as its name suggests, this is a flora and fauna themed project with over 100 carefully selected species that is planted around the grounds of the project. So now that we understand a little bit more about garden residences, this hidden gem in D19, why not let's start from the foyer area and kickstart this home tour. So from the moment you enter the unit, you'll be greeted with this foyer area. Door has already come fitted with a smart Samsung kind of lock. The intercom system is now already integrated into the mobile application. So if someone buzzes the door at the security post or at the lift lobby, that will go straight direct to your phone through the app and you can access it from there. So right here in the left-hand corner, you can see that right now it's an empty space. Now I think this is a great space if you want to do up some built-in shoe cabinets area. That will be good for you to put in some of your items such as your car keys or your wallet and then you can just grab them before you head out. Here is really an open open space for you to play around with. This is actually where your distribution box is and the developer has already very thoughtfully designed this to be a DB box area come shoe cabinet space. So this space here is your open kitchenette area and I think for one better unit, this is actually considered a fully functional kitchen. Right here you still have your backsplash done for your kitchen countertop and if you look on the floor, this is actually matching with the floor tiles as well. So I think that's great and if you flip over on the other side, this is where your fridge space is. All around are actually built-in cabinets. This can be a space where you put in your coffee machine, your blender. It can also serve like a small breakfast countertop and this is also nicely done out with plugs here already. So very convenient for you to put in your appliances. Also, backsplash is done here for easy maintenance. Let's chat a little bit more about our location analysis. We're actually situated very close to the heart of Serangoon Gardens and Clave. On top of that, we also received news that recently the MCST has already approved for a new side gate to be built towards the back of the entire site. So if we pull out the site plan, you can see that the gate will be built behind block number 5. And once that site gate is built, residents here can get to Serangoon Gardens via Leachfield Road in a matter of minutes. So from this site gate, it is also just a 5 minutes walk to the nearest bus stop. And from there, there are buses that will take you to Serangoon Interchange, Lorong Chuan, MRT as well as Coven MRT. Coming back closer to where we're at at Serangoon Station, three stops in the direction of the Circle Line will take you to McPherson Station where you can hop onto the Downtown Line and then one stop from McPherson will of course take you to Paya Lebar MRT where you have the East-West Line and that will of course connect you to other parts of the island like Tampines as well as Changi Airport. Now for those of you who commute by car, we are just less than a 30 minutes drive to the CBD as well as Orchard area via the CTE. A lot of residents like to live in this area also because we're just within a kilometer's radius to Chonghua Primary School as well as Rosai School. And for your day-to-day -day amenities, your nearest supermarket will be NQC. And you can find that at Block 152B along Serangoon North Avenue 1. And on top of that, you also have Prime Supermarket as well as Shengshong in the nearby vicinity. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.
Now if we look at the side plan, you'll notice that the one bedders are all situated within block number one and predominantly you have two different facings. One is the external facing towards Serangoon North Avenue 1 and the other one is the internal facing towards the swimming pool. Now for stacks 1 and 16, you will get the external facing and then for stacks 4, 5, 9 as well as 10, we are getting this internal facing towards the swimming pool. So now let's head to the balcony and I'll show you the view. So this is the balcony space they are getting in this one bedder apartment. I think in terms of size, this is quite generous for a one bedder. I think you can even easily fit up a two-seater kind of patio furniture here. If you want to do up zip track to enclose this space, you know, have a little bit more privacy or to keep the AC in at night, that is definitely doable. Now, if we look at this view over here, this is actually overlooking the main swimming pool of the development. I think if you sit here and look at the swimming pool, you'll feel like you're in a resort. So this is definitely beautiful and fantastic to enjoy. For the one bedders in garden residences, there is only one type and that is the type A1 Size at 452 square feet which is the one that we're in today Now you'll notice from the floor plan that this is in a very squarish as well as regular layout So you don't have any odd corners in the space And these are available at stacks 1, 4, 5, 9, 10 as well as 16 Enclosing your entire living room space, you get three panels of sliding doors. These are floor to ceiling sliding windows, so you get a lot of natural light coming into the unit as well. On top of that, in terms of facing wise, we are actually facing towards south this way, and the main door is facing towards north, so you do get very good cross wind ventilation here. You don't get any afternoon as well as morning sun. So, along this flank of the wall, you can fit up to a two or three seater sofa couch here. If we sit on the sofa, you'll notice that we're actually at a very comfortable height because from here you can still see the pool view. Oh, this is great. This is where you can put in your TV console area because power points have already been done up here so another idea we have for your TV console area is you can probably do up a very nice TV feature wall here and mount your TV on top and build in more storages around the entire space so right here in the dining space you can comfortably fit in like a two-seater dining set otherwise you can also build up the storage spaces that you have in this home by doing built-in cabinets here you'll notice that you actually have two AC units that are serving your living and your dining zone I think this is very generous from the developer because for a one bedder to have three AC units in total that is really quite generous So if you're in the market looking for a one bedder in this vicinity, you have Therese which is a 99 years diesel development, TOP 2014, one bedder size has 656 square feet to 657 square feet, asking price $828,000 to $850,000, bringing their PSF to $1,263 to $1,293. Coven Regency, 99 years diesel project, TOP 2015, one bedder size has 506 square feet to 894 square feet, asking price $818,000 to $1.35 million, PSF one. 1,342 to 1,762. You also have Stars of Coven, 99 years leasehold project, TOP 2019. One bedder there, size at 506 square feet to 517 square feet, asking price $850,000 to $1 million, bringing their PSF to $1,644 to $1,976. Now comparing to new launches in the area as well, we have Affinity at Serangoon, 99 years leasehold project, expected to TOP in 2024. One bedder, size at 473 square feet to 614 square feet, asking price $799,000 to $1.088 million, bringing their PSF to $1,612 to $1,860. We also have Florence Residences, 99 years this whole project, expected to TOP 2023. One bedder there, size at 463 square feet to 667 square feet, asking price $758,000 to $1.19 million, bringing their PSF to $1,566 to $2,239. So coming back to our unit here at Garden Residences, we're one of the newest kids on the block and in terms of proximity to Serangoon Gardens Estate, we're one of the closest as well. Asking price at $840,000, size at 452 square feet, bringing our PSF to $1,858. Now we think that this is a great opportunity for you if you're an investor who's in the market and looking to buy a private residential development that's below the $900,000 mark. Now assuming you purchase this property at $840,000 and taking a loan of 75% of up to $630,000 with 3% interest rate stretched across 30 years, your monthly repayment will come up to be about $2,656. If you were to look at the past transacted data for the rentals of one bedders here at the garden residences, you'll notice that the one bedders here have been transacted between $2,500 to $3,000 
$3,100 per month. Now assuming you're able to rent out this unit at $3,000 a month, if we take that and multiply it by 11 months to factor in the MCST fee needed for a year, so that will bring your gross rental income to be $36,000 a year and that will bring your rental yield to be a very healthy 3.9%. And if you to bring up the mortgage calculations again, you'll notice that your monthly rental will then be able to service your monthly mortgage of $2,656. So right here in this corner is of course your master bedroom space. I think this master bedroom is decent in size because you can fit in a queen size bed. You have three huge panels of window right there looking out into the pool view as well. Right here you have floor to ceiling wardrobe that's been provided for by the developer. So great in size. So this master bedroom comes with a very efficient Jack and Jill bathroom which can be accessed from the common area as well as your master bedroom on this side of the door. So here in the bathroom you can get a very good sized bathroom I would say because you have a very nice floating vanity design right here. And right above you have a full length mirror along this wall. Tucked away in this corner is your standing shower area. Now in terms of future development in this area, there are still a few in the pipeline. One of them is the upcoming Serangoon North MRT station on the Cross Island Line and that is slated to complete by the year 2030. And that will be just 5 minutes away from garden residences. Now if you've been following the news closely, you'll notice that in this period of the year, we're actually going through an on block fever. Earlier this year, Kensington Park right opposite us has already gotten 80% consent for collective sale. So that means that in years to come, it might be possible for private residential development to come up in that area. If you look at the new launch market right now, most of the new launches are already launching above $2,000 PSF. That gives us a good $100 to $200 in terms of price disparity to the new launch kind of benchmark. In the future, when those new launches are going to hit their TOP status and owners there are going to sell, they will then mark up another $200 to $300 and that gives more bandwidth for our PSF to appreciate. So needless to say, garden residences also come with a full range of condo facilities and that includes your barbecue pavilion, you have your pool deck, wading pool, you have your aqua deck, of course a very nice 75 meter swimming pool and you also have your toddler's playground, family deck, you even have a floating yoga pavilion and many more facilities. I think in total you have about 51 different facilities packed into these beautiful projects. <music> Once again, to recap, this was a one bedder size at 452 square feet here at the new Garden Residences. We're just within walking distance to Serangoon Garden and Cliff, as well as the upcoming Serangoon North MRT station on the Cross Island Line. Once again, this was asking $840,000. If you're interested to take a look at this place, do contact our listing managers. Our contact details are right here. And as always, don't forget to follow us on all our socials. We're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, as well as TikTok. Once again, my name is Jun Wei, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. One better size at 452 square, 52 square feet, 52 square feet, right here. And by the way, we are with ah. Hi there. So we're right now in this uh, this unit, this space, this unit, this unit. Okay, can I? Can I mix and match ah, like Melvin style ah. <laughs> okay, ready?